Hi, I'm Dan Elbow, and I'm going to teach you how to bar spin the tail whip. All right, so first you got to figure out which, which way you're doing it. If you're just going up to a new stair set or a new box jump or something, you're usually either going to tail whip it or bar spin it first. So whichever one you do it first, um, that's, that's the one you're going to do second in the combo because you want to get the scariest one out of the way so that you're not doing it like as you're coming down to the ground. So for me, bar spins are scarier, so I'm going to do them first. And so I don't have to worry about hitting the ground. You want to do it on like a ramp that's a little bit bigger than you're comfortable. For finger whips, I said it's not a big deal about airtime and it's more being comfortable. For these, you need a tad bit more airtime. So I pretty much say fly out just in general. Don't, don't try to do it on a hip or something. And then so you just go to that jump, try to get more comfy at it. So catch your bar spins really high. Try to learn some late whips. Or if you're doing it the other way, just uh, do it that way and I know make, make sure that you get get the bar spin caught and then throw the whip don't try to like throw it right as you get it caught like kind of pause get ready for it just keep it all under you like don't don't go up the fly out and be like that you're not gonna land it at all you just got to be over your deck and just kick it really fast and I'll show you one One other thing you can do for the bar whip is when you're throwing the bar, you could kind of stick your front out here and wait, like just get it a little farther around. You can either do that or just keep both feet on. That keeps the bar spin more balanced and then just kick it or you can take the foot off. It's just whatever feels more comfortable. Thanks for watching. Like if it helped you and the more you like it, the more I'll film more how to's and subscribe for more. Thank you.